He comes to America. He becomes incredibly wealthy. Big house in Malibu or Brentwood, I forget where, maybe both. And nightly goes BMW. That stands for blank, moan, and walk. For people in education to think that they know what's best for somebody else's child. God gave me my child, not the school district. Candidate for Michigan Attorney General Matt DiPerno, who's also being endorsed by Trump, cited a Michigan law regarding parents' rights in education. It is the natural, fundamental right of parents and legal guardians to determine and direct the care, teaching, and education of their children. Fundamental right of the parent. The school board has reportedly removed the books in question for review, but it's not yet clear whether they'll be returned to the shelves. Reporting by Arian Pastar, NTD News. More and more. I prostituted and I worked in the sex industry as a trans woman, and I did everything from doing, I was an escort, I did, I was a phone sex operator, I did webcam modeling, I did porn photo shoots. My mentality that I lived in was not appropriate for children. The type of person I was was not, even my humor, my conversations, all of this was not appropriate for children. Wit says his experience wasn't unusual among drag queens. A lot of drag queens were drug dealers. We have found drag queens who were registered sex offenders who were performing for children. You wouldn't have a um, porn star come and do a porn show for your children or a stripper come and do a strip show for your kids. So why would you have a drag queen? Witt says the rise of drag shows comes from communist ideology and is working to destroy families. He refers to a list of 45 goals of the Communist Party in the U.S. laid out in the 1958 book, The Naked Communist. One reads, presents homosexuality, degeneracy, and promiscuity as normal, natural, and healthy. It's all a strategy to tear down the nuclear family. Then they can take over everything. Today, Witt works at Culture Warriors of America, an organization with a mission to expose child sex groomers and their enablers. Reporting by Angela Moy, NTV News. Get involved at every level of education. They need to be at every school board meeting. They need to make their voices heard. We can do that in Washington. They can do it at a state level. But you better be there at a local level. And don't think that because even in my district in East Tennessee, we have a lot of rural area here. Don't think it can't creep in because it already has. And you have to be that voice to say, no, you're not going to do that to our children. And as a woman in Congress, and there's more women coming to Congress on the Republican side, you want to get people riled up in this country, go ahead and tell a mother they can't do something. Go ahead and take, tell a grandmother like me that, no, you're, you're not going to have a say-so. That is absolutely wrong. And we're here to uh, back up the parents and say, just get involved. Know what you're teaching your children and know how to react when there's something you don't agree with. All right. Thank you so much, Representative Diana Hushbarger. Thank you for your time. My What's happening in May? Close in on it. Call it over. You had everything, Hunter. You threw it all away. You hope the laptop will take down everybody with you. Get out! Yeah. Show me the car, eh? Enough bad quotes, folks. I love my dad. Yeah, it's just funny. It came around. We were convinced that my dad was going to be providing for my dad. I went over, I guess, the 12th, 13th time to Kiev and, uh, and I was going to, supposed to announce that there was another billion dollar loan guarantee. And I had gotten a commitment from Poroshenko and from uh, Yatsenyuk that they would take action against the state prosecutor, and they didn't. So they said they had they walked out to the press conference and said, no, I said, I'm not going to give you, we're not going to give you the billion dollars. They said, you have no authority, you're not the president. The president said, I said, call him. <laughs> I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting the billion dollars. I said, you're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> you got fired. And they took Unchained the Wall Street. Going to put y'all back in chains. 
Joe Biden, white savior politician, says to these four to three Latino, Latino politicians in L.A., you must resign because of your racist comments. Is it the same Joe Biden who told Charlemagne the God this? If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. You ain't black unless you vote for me. You vote for Trump, you ain't black, says white savior Joe Biden is now demanding that these three Hispanic leaders resign. Is that the same Joe Biden who made the comment about a candidate for president named Barack Obama? I mean, you got the first sort of mainstream African American yeah. who is articulate and bright and, and clean, nice looking guy. I mean, this, that's a story, man. Yeah. And now Joe Biden wants them to resign? experimented on how to make a virus spread more easily among humans. And the Wuhan lab ended up in a massive debate on whether it had leaked the virus that caused the COVID-19 pandemic. On top of this, the Wuhan lab has been working with the Chinese military on classified research since 2017. The NIH was later dragged into the controversy as the situation raised questions about whether the NIH maintains enough oversight over risky bioresearch. As the controversy continued to brew, the NIH requested information from EcoHealth about its research with the Wuhan lab. In 2020, it suspended grant dollars to the nonprofit until it provided the information requested. But lawmakers say EcoHealth never provided records of that research. And despite that, the NIH has resumed funding for EcoHealth over the next five years. It already sent the nonprofit over $600,000 as an initial payment. The lawmakers have written a letter to the director of the NIH asking him to end the grant relationship. NTD reached out to the NIH for comment but did not receive a response before airtime. Things are escalating on the Korean Peninsula.